Hi there, this is Buffy, and I'm going to be going over to another movie called The Intern, and I want to give you my review of the movie called The Intern. It's PG-13, and still I'm playing in theater as, as I speak, and it might not be after a couple of few weeks from now. So if you, when you get to watch this, hopefully you get to see it sooner so you get my review, and hopefully it will help you as much as I, I can give you what I, uh, what I uh, went and saw this movie. I can't. I kind of felt like the movie was more like a um, a father and daughter kind of role, but only yet uh, we have you know Anne Hathaway, who she is a wonderful actress. I adore her uh, uh, her credibility in the acting, and and then of course we got Robert De Niro. It's a whole other perspective. I'm not used to seeing him as that down to earth kind of guy. He is more of a yeah. I, he did really well in uh, Meet the Parents and and. You know, in those uh, trilogy and that uh, kind of movie, and I just thought, oh, this is a whole different uh, side of view of him. And then I saw him in a movie called The Family, and uh, and then I seen Anne Hathaway, you know, in you know uh, The Princess Diary. I mean, we got you know, meet the parents, meet the queen uh, of the well, the princess of the Princess Diary. So I was like, okay, got this this great uh, combination that they put these two guys. Yeah, wonderful people together, and I just thought, okay, this is going to be a great movie. So, you know, about the story about this whole thing, it is a, you know, it, you know, Anne Hathaway is a, uh, you know, more of a perfectionist kind of person. She's got to be on the schedule. She's got to be everywhere. She's got to go, and she's got this huge business going on, and, and then, you know, and then you wouldn't think that, you know, as far as the intern, will be a senior citizen. Well, you know, that would be Robert De Niro. He played that acting. And he comes right in, and he, um, you know, looks for a job, and he's gotten tired. I'll tell you one thing, and him, as far as retirement goes, it does not work anymore. So I suggest um, watching, you know, this whole thing. I'm going, okay, we got this guy kind of knows it all in the business, and then we got this girl who, start, uh, who starts her own business without much any help, and she's looking for CEO, and, and then, you know, she decided, oh, I don't think I could do this myself. I don't need them. And it's just more of a more of a willpower in this whole movie is about you know her being you know uh, she was more of like a boss type role and you would think the older guy would be a, a guy who wants to be a boss kind of person and you would look up to him. Well, it's kind of like the other way around, and you're gonna go look at him is now looking at her the boss and then you know it, it's like a role reversal kind of movie, and I kind of felt like. Okay, there's a lot of huge point that you can feel right part of the scenes. You can feel the emotion of the actor and actress. And you can kind of sense that it is more of a, a story that, you know, they are best friends. But, you know, it, in the long run, it looks like I would think it's a father and daughter kind of movie, you know. But even though they're not related, it's just that, you know, he's taking care of her. You know, making sure she he's watching out for her, and even though he is the intern. So... He, you know, and then he comes, uh, and then she's like relying on him, and then she's, and it's a little piece part of the movie, you know, she did say that, so, uh, so and so, isn't this where you're supposed to have a handkerchief for me, that I'm starting to cry, you know, and I really, really, you know, and this is the time I need it, because you don't have it, but Robert De Niro, who plays that, you know, intern, uh, and has one on uh, him, and helps her out with that, and then she starts to see the point of view, the man rule, that is a gentleman, and that's what she's kind of starting to see a whole lot of difference. And this is why he's starting to fit right in. He, you know, and he just kind of gets a little bit more stuff done and for her. Other than just being an intern, she, he starts doing more like a, you know, a friendship thing and a chauffeur and other things go along with the whole thing. So, I hope this uh, will help you in this movie. I give it about A- minus because it has been a huge uh, a success kind of a point that kind of brought me into the story. And, um... Uh, I just thought it was more uh, a, you know, it, it, it's a relationship bonding kind of movie. And it's just got more of a, you know, you can feel right into the whole character. And I just hope that everything I say to you is going to help you to be enticed to go see it as soon as you can. And, or rent it, uh, or buy it on DVD. Uh, another thing is, um, you know, I, uh, I appreciate anything that comes my way. You know, comments, thank you, hit me right on there and subscribe please i would love that uh, and delighted that you would be and on top of that uh you can find me on facebook instagram and twitter our favorite 
social networking has taken over of us and, and we just love it to the death. So again, thank you all. And I will be talking about other more films coming out my way. So please watch for them. Thank you. And have a wonderful, splendid day. And please go see The Intern or buy it on DVD. Thank you. Bye-bye.